All right, guys, this is gonna be my A Quiet Place day one out of the theater reaction. Um, I liked it, you know? I'm a big fan of the Quiet Place movies. I just really, really like the whole, you know, alien aspect and all the suspense that we get in a film like this. Um, you know, it's just a really enjoyable theater experience. If the audience actually respects the film, you know, cause this movie is brand new. I know it's been out for a few days, but typically, you know, the audience that goes to see the new movies right away, they tend to be more well behaved. And uh, I, I like that, especially for a movie like this. Like if the audience isn't dead silent, it really ruins the experience. And uh, luckily my audience today wasn't too bad. There was this couple like near the back of the theater and they were like whispering every once in a while and like shaking a bag of popcorn when it's dead silent. And I'm like, what are you guys doing right now? Like Lupita Nyong'o and Joseph Quinn are over here, you know, struggling to survive. And then all I'm hearing is popcorn being shaken and all that. But anyways, if, if you go see this movie with a good audience, it's a much, much better time. Um, I really liked it. It's set in New York City. It's day one of this invasion from these aliens. And, um, it's just a really interesting place for this story to take place because New York City is a very loud and busy city. And uh, I think they executed the plan pretty well. Um, I do wish we got to explore a little bit more of New York. Like we don't really get to get, get to get, we don't really get to um, immerse ourselves in New York as much as I thought we were with this film. Um, we really just follow Lupita Nyong'o's character, Sam, and, uh, we go to, like, a couple locations in New York, and that's about it, which, you know, I thought that was a big missed opportunity. It would have been really cool to see, uh, you know, like, tourists going to New York, and then the aliens coming in, and see the immediate reaction to the invasion from, a, a bunch of different perspectives within New York, but we unfortunately didn't get that. It was all just the character of Sam, um, and the people she bumps into along the way. Uh, by no means is that bad, I just would have wanted more, um, especially with a giant city like New York. It would have been really cool to see, you know, different perspectives because New York is so big and busy. Um, Joseph Quinn wasn't in the movie as much as I thought he would be. I think he pops up maybe, like, almost at the halfway point is when we see him. Um, but he's really good. I really like the chemistry between uh, Joseph Quinn's character of Eric and then Lupita Nyong'o's character, Sam. I thought it was really well done. Uh, the suspense in this movie, awesome. Top tier. Very, very good. There was a few jump scares that I literally was like, boom, in my chair shaking. It was just a really great experience, like watching these films in theaters with the, the you know, the better sound and um, the chairs, especially if you can watch this in D-Box where the chairs move. I think that would be like the best experience you could possibly have with a film like this, like the jump scares and the chair shaking and then the, the theater sound and all that. But yeah, really enjoyable experience. The suspense was off the charts. Um, overall, you know, I liked it. Like it wasn't as good as uh, part one and two. I wouldn't. I would say uh, those. The first one especially is my favorite. The second one uh, I like a lot as well. And this one I like, but just not as much as those. Um, it does tie into the the broader Quiet Place story, uh, obviously because it's called Day One, and it does kind of lead into other stuff that we see later on with the other films, which I thought was cool. Um, there is no post credit scene or mid credit scene, so as soon as the movie is done, uh, you can get up and go. It's not a very long movie. It's about an hour and 39 minutes, so it's not gonna be like a super long experience. And, uh, you know, I felt the time, the time frame of this movie uh, is good, you know? It didn't overstay its welcome. It's a pretty quick in and out experience. I think it's like pretty much the perfect length, except I would, like I said at the beginning of the review, would have liked to see more perspectives in New York because there's so many different types of people and locations and all that. Uh, it would have been nice to see, you know, a little bit more, maybe like uh, tourism boats going to the Statue of Liberty and then like they get back and the aliens and like something like that would have been cool. Um, but yeah, it was, it's just one of those movies where you go and the experience is really good. And I would definitely recommend to go see A Quiet Place Day 1. 
Um, like I said, it's not my favorite out of the Quiet Place movies, but it is a welcome addition. Um, honestly, I think this franchise could be massive. Like, there's just so many different things you can do with this thing. You could have, you know, different locations in the world, which obviously I think they will end up doing. Whether that's movies, TV shows, games, whatever, I think they will end up exploring that. Uh, it'd be really cool to, like, go to different continents and all that. Um, I would really like to see an army perspective film on the Quiet Place uh, lore. I think that would be really cool. Like, imagine it's all about, like, the president and, like, a special task force to try to rescue civilians or something. That'd be really cool. Like, you could qu you could call it a Quiet Place uh, Operations Silence or something. That sounds terrible, but you, you get what I mean. Like, imagine a military perspective Quiet Place film and they gotta like rescue hostages or rescue the president or something like you could do something cool like that and i think it would actually be really interesting but um back to a quiet place day one uh i like the main characters you know i like sam and i like derek uh there is a cat that is technically kind of like a main character i guess um i like that addition you know having a pet but at the same time i know some people are gonna look at that and be like yeah, that's kind of cheesy, you know, and I get it. But at the same time, my biggest criticism with the whole cat thing is it doesn't meow once. Uh, not that I can remember. Like, I feel like a pet, like a cat. Holy, I'm saying like a hundred times. I feel like a cat would be a nuisance to survive uh, an alien invasion where they have heightened sense of hearing. Um, because a cat likes to meow, purr jump on things make sounds you know and i feel like the cat would be meowing all the time and i feel like the aliens would just attack the cat like instantly so it was weird to me that you know the cat didn't meow and then the aliens show up at all like it never happened once i found that a little bit odd but um other than that i did like the cat it's like a uh you get invested into the story a little more if you're a pet lover and it it did that for me um but yeah overall really really good time i'd probably give it like a seven or seven and a half out of ten it's a solid film it's not like the best film you're ever gonna see this year but uh it is enjoyable if you guys want to check it out on a tuesday i think it's definitely worth it at matinee price um but yeah it's it's solid definitely check it out if you're into the quiet place movies or horror movies survival movies stuff like that i think you're gonna have a good time um cgi was great the action was pretty good um but yeah the big big positive is the chemistry between eric and sam and then the suspense there's a lot of great pop-ups um and scary scenes and all that and I, I just had a good time, you know, and this is the the first one not directed by John Krasinski, I believe, and it was well done. I can't wait to see what they do with this franchise and where they go with it, but uh, this was a welcome addition. So guys, that is my out of the theater reaction for A Quiet Place Day 1. Thank you for watching. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know down below in the comments what you thought about it, and uh, yeah, please subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video.